We're going to investigate how to set up an element library that will include doublet information. The standard element library now includes a, a miscellaneous field which can be used to add additional information to the terms previously stored in the element library. And the idea is that when we look at an entry such as this silicon 2p uh, we can add a term here which is going to let, let us uh, automatically create doublet pairs so to begin with what I'm going to do is add the doublet information by first looking at a spectrum where I've already fitted the data I've got a pair of component peaks and if I go to this component uh, doublet it's going to correspond to these two that I've got it set up so I've got a, a three halves peak and a one half peak and I've also got uh, a line shape that is associated with these parameters uh, and f this doublet uh, what I've done is I've introduced constraints for the position uh, the fourth half maximum and uh, the area that should be correct for this particular uh, 2p doublet. So having selected in this peak model the one-half peak that has these constraints associated with it, I can then add uh, to the element library using, uh, first of all I'm going to right click on the entry for the silicon 2p and it brings up the dialog window. So this is going to be my elemental silicon 2p and you may have seen me copy the uh, the line shape because I'm going to add that to the library and then I'm going to I could type in a string that will tell me how how I want the doublet created but by virtue of the fact that I've got these constraints set up here and I've got this component selected that has these constraints if I just enter the special character the key character hash into this miscellaneous field when I press create what it will do is it will extract these relationships from the the silicon 2p one half that I've got selected and enter it into the element library so when I press create it is now reordering the element library and I've now got hopefully let me just put up the marker so I'm sure where my element library entries are going to be uh, so if I go here and I click here see the scroll and there it is that's the one that I've just created the previous one is still there but I've created one in the image of that one whereas now I've got an entry which is the miscellaneous string that was created using the position offset the area factor and a, a relationship for the forward half maximum a factor that uh, may determine the, the forward half maximum of these two in this case it's just going to be they're both the same width so having created this I can now go to a different spectrum and I'll create myself a background I'll just use a, a Shirley as, as it happens that's how, what the model had uh, and now I've got an option that says create and create times two. The create times two is for the doublet but if I want to make sure that I create the doublet that I've just set up I have to do more than simply press create. What I have to do is I have to select which one of these I want to um, to be used when I do the create and this is the one with that doublet entry here. So now if I say create times two you can see that instead of getting a single peak which would have happened had I selected the button I now get two these two and these have come in and the area constraint the forward half maximum constraint and the position have all been pulled from the element library